Welcome to the third weapon comparison guide. Once again we are comparing weapons from each weapon class, following the last video up with the light machine guns. In this video we will compare the following weapons. The L86 LSW, the M249B, the M60 and the RPK74. More light machine guns like the rumored LMG36 and the MK48 might be released in the upcoming updates. But since they aren't in the game yet, we can't do a comparison on it yet. For every weapon we will review the following statistics. The fire mode, meaning if it fires in an automatic, burst, semi-automatic, bolt action or pump action fashion. The damage in terms of high, medium or low. The optimal range, the rate of fire, the magazine capacity, the accuracy, meaning the size of your crosshairs when firing. The stability, meaning the vertical drift, kick or recoil pattern the reload speed and the available modification slots. We won't review the weapon variants. For more information on the variants, watch the individual weapon guides for them. So let's get into it. The L86 light support weapon is a British gas operated light machine gun manufactured by the Sterling Armands Company. Its fire mode is automatic, its damage is at 9000, the optimal range is at 35 meters, with a rate of fire of 610 rounds per minute and a magazine capacity of 30 rounds. Its accuracy is at 24%, its stability is at 22%, the reload speed takes 5.5 seconds and the L86 holds all the modification slots. The M249B is an American belt fed machine gun, manufactured by the Belgian company Evan Herschel. Its fire mode is automatic, its damage is at 7800, its optimal range is at 35 meters, with a rate of fire of 550 rounds per minute and a magazine size of 100 rounds. Its accuracy is at 24%, its stability is at 22%, the reload takes 5.5 seconds and it holds all the modification slots. The United States Machine Gun 60 is a belt fed general purpose gun produced by Seiko Defense. Its fire mode is automatic, it has 8500 damage. Its optimal range is at 40 meters, with a rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute and it has a clip of 100 rounds. Its accuracy is at 36%, its stability is at 27%, the reload takes 5.75 seconds and it holds all the modification slots. The Ruknoi Pulmiot Kalashnikova 74 is a handheld machine gun developed by the Fiatsky Poyani machine building plant. The fire mode is automatic, it has 7800 damage, the optimal range is 28 meters, the rate of fire is at 650 rounds per minute and its magazine size is 45 rounds. The accuracy is at 37%, stability is at 26% and the reload takes 3.2 seconds to complete. The RPK has all the modification slots available to it. Now, let's review the weapon for each statistic to see what weapons are the best in the light machine gun category. In the category of the fire mode there is no winner, since they are all fully automatic. The damage is the best for the L86, followed by the M60. The optimal range is best on the M60. The best in the class rate of fire goes to the RPK, closely followed, surprisingly, by the L86. The best in class accuracy is owned by the RPK, followed by the M60 with 1% less. The stability is owned by the M60, followed by the RPK with 1% less. All the weapons have a slow reload speed, but the RPK is the fastest by quite a lot. Finally, all the LMGs have all the modification slots available to it. To conclude, we can say that there is one clear winner. The L86 with great damage, good optimal range and good rate of fire. If you care more about suppressing fire, choose the M60 with a good damage, great optimal range, magazine size and handling characteristics. However, every light machine gun has other weapon variants with increased statistics and available modifications that can make the weapon perform better. Lastly, remember that there's a difference between how a gun works in theory versus in practice. Use this guide to get a general impression of the weapons and play with each of the weapons to get a true image of them. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a rating and subscribe for more related content. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, 
feel free to leave it in the comment section down below.